Well, what do you say to my fine new threads? Well, look at you. Quite the gentleman. That looks familiar somehow. At any rate, you can head on into Heaven's Hope now. Long as you don't run around telling folks you're an angel. And, uh... How do I get to this Heaven's Hope? Real easy. You just go straight through the woods and then follow the sign. Here, I even got a map for you. Generally speaking, you can't really get lost in Heaven's Hope. The whole city is built around the marketplace. You can tell by the huge pyre in the middle. And if you do manage to get yourself lost someday, just head to the center of town. There's lots of signs there, or you can check your map. How can I find this scientist, Bloomford? Ain't hard. You just head on into Heaven's Hope. His lab is right smack dab in the middle. How can I find this? Ain't hard. I'll be going then. A little heart carved in there, with the letters S and B in it. A tree. Somehow, its appearance is rather reassuring. Um, uh, hello? Rather looks like he's not interested in chatting with you. Maybe he's just asleep. He's rather shaky. A river full of water. Ah! Oh! Heaven's hope. It seems that this is the way there. Strange device. A merchant stall. My, there's certainly a lot of things lying around. And it smells so strange. A teapot. Hello, my name is Talarel. And I am Karim. At your service. What an interesting stall. What exactly do you sell? And what on earth is that smell? The scent of adventure, Effendi. Sandalwood from the Coromandel coast, Galbanum from the Levantine ports, Dragon's blood from Asia Minor, Copal, Damar and Elemi, Moroccan tears, Mastic from North America, and Indian Nard from, well, India. What can I do for you? What do you have to offer? Please, Effendi, look around. Simply call me if you see something you like. That list there? What's that? That's my customer list. I use it to keep very careful note of who has bought something from me, who has already paid, and who has not. May I have a look at your customer list? Absolutely not. That is the strictest of trade secrets in this business Discretion is everything. What do you have to offer? Please, Effendi. This powder here, 
What is it? That is sneezing powder, Effendi. The children love it. Perhaps you would like to have a little sample of it? Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. What do you have to offer? Please. What's in the bottle with a skull and crossbones on it? That is a very potent poison, Effendi. It can be used, for example, against aphids in your garden, or even to eliminate an entire plague of rats in a landfill. Would it be possible for me to get some of that? But of course, Effendi. Two pounds. Unfortunately, I have no pounds at all. Ah, Effendi, do you wish to make a pot? I have five children to support. You cannot do such a thing to me. What do you have to... Please. What is in this very aromatic package? Ah, Effendi, that is lavender. Smells wonderful. It even gets rid of moths. May I have some? With pleasure, Effendi. One pound. Hmm. Unfortunately, I don't have any pounds. Ah, Effendi, what are you doing to me? I have seven hungry mouths to feed at home, plus my wife and her sisters as well. What do you have to offer? Please. What are these pungent bulbs? That is very, very fresh garlic. Tastes good and keeps mosquitoes away. Could I perhaps have some, please? With pleasure, Effendi. Half a pound. Unfortunately, I don't have a pound. Ah, Effendi, you can't do this to me. I have 12 children to keep fed, plus all of my wife's greedy relatives as well. What do you have to offer? Please. What are those bottles over there? A true panacea. Caffeine shampoo. Helps prevent hair loss and brings a full head of hair back to even the baldest of bald spots. Hmm. I don't think I need that. You never know when something like that might prove useful. Could I perhaps have a bottle of that after all? But of course. Three pounds. Hmm. Unfortunately... I don't have any pounds. Ah, Effendi, what are you doing to me here? You can't do that. I have 16 children to support, plus my wife's, my sister's, and her brother's families. I'll be going then. See you soon, Effendi. That over there must be the town of Heaven's Hope. May I please see that? Under no circumstances, Effendi. That is a trade secret. Funny. Is this one broken? The laboratory of a true inventor. Your chances of flying again seem to be looking up. Although, whether or not the stuff this guy builds really works is probably a completely different question. A bottle. Unfortunately, I can't decipher the label, but the skull and crossbones are pretty straightforward. A large green cactus. Who is there? I'm a citizen of Earth, just like you. One who uh, walks and breathes and metabolizes. That's not really working now that well, is it? I'm an angel. Fear not. Why should I be afraid? You don't look scary. And really, an angel? That's silly. But I am an angel. I, uh... Anyone can say that. However, angels have been defined quite clearly. They have? Of course. Angels are A, metaphysical, B, transcendent, and C, absolute. 
And I'm not getting that impression of you, my boy. Huh? I beg your pardon? What? Why are angels metaphysical? Angels are, unlike us human beings, not subject to physical laws. Hence, the metaphysical. This makes them immortal, for example. But I am immortal, because I am an angel. Humbug. Anyone could say that. But I am a man of science, dedicated to the search for truth. As such, I can only accept tangible evidence. How are angels transcendent? Angels are transcendent. That's self-explanatory, really. They're capable of perceiving things we humans cannot. I see. That means, for example, that they can contact all living beings and, to some extent, affect them. I can speak with animals and plants. Humbug. Anyone could say that. But I am a man of science, dedicated to the search for truth. As such, I can only accept tangible evidence. Angels are absolute? What is that supposed to mean? Angels are absolute. The opposite of relative. Angels exist and act beyond causal chains. Huh? Angels can perform miracles. Every child knows that. But I can't perform miracles. I revived this obese mouse, for example. After you almost killed it. Hush, Azael. Humbug. Anyone could say that. But I am a man of science, dedicated to the search for truth. As such, I can only accept tangible evidence. I am an angel. Absolutely meta-causal. Transmeta-causal. Absolute. You mean metaphysical, transcendent, and absolute? Uh, yeah. Humbug. Anyone could say that. But I am a man of science, dedicated to the search for truth. As such, I can only accept tangible evidence. I'll be going then. A strange apparatus. I'm afraid the little furball won't be able to help here. Man on stilts, I'm Talarel. Joffrey, the lamplighter. What do you do here? And why are you running around on those long poles? I am the lamplighter here in Heaven's Hope. Every night, I go up and down the streets and light the candles when dusk falls. And when the wind blows them out, then I light them again. Naturally, I wear the stilts to help me reach the lanterns. Do you maybe have a flame for me? A flame? Joffrey has matches. They burn quite well. Here, you can keep the box. I'll be going then. Either of you know this one? Isn't that Abdiel? Hmm. No, the nose is all wrong. A crank? I wonder if you could pull something up with it. An old wooden bucket. Old well seems to be pretty deep. Hello, man of God. Hello, young man. How can I help you? If I may introduce myself, Father, my name is Talarel. Glad to meet you, Talarel. My name is Bartholomew. I am the shepherd of this hall and the priest here in Heaven's Hope. 
I'll be going then. An image of a saint. Dirty, though. You can't really see anything. But there's a symbol here on the frame. Looks like an F. I can't just take the consecrated candle. It's needed for the Holy Mass. An image of a saint. Dirty, though. You can't really see anything. But there's a symbol here on the frame. It looks like a Z with a flourish. An image of a saint. Filthy, though. You can't really see anything. But there's a symbol here on the frame. Looks like an ornate H. A basin of holy water. Greta's Hall. I don't think I'll be going in there. Wait a minute. You can't go in there. There's construction work going on. A wooden flap. A woven lattice. The priest usually sits behind it. A woven lattice. The priest usually sits behind it. Why would I want to do that? Really? Even more of that burning stuff? Oh, I think that's a pyre. Not good. What on earth do you use a pyre like that for? I... I don't think you want to know. Here it says, you will receive the power of the Holy Spirit, which will come upon you, and then you will be my witnesses to Earth's remotest end. That's from Apostles, chapter 1, verse 8. How do you know something like that? Um, hello? I, um, I don't think he wants to talk to you. I don't know if he can speak. Um, well, hello there, small human. Small human? What kind of bilge are you talking? Uh, isn't that what you are? A small human? Of course! But who says it like that, small human? That's really weird. I am... Tanneril, seriously, in the middle of the city, right next to the pyre? I'm new in town and still not very familiar with the way things work here. By the way, my name is Tanneril. What's yours? I'm Marla. Hello, Marla. What do you do? I watch the people here in Heaven's Hope. Pretty funny. Why is that so funny? Because they do some pretty strange things and think that no one notices. Do you sit here on the wall a lot? Yes, every day, really. Say, Marla, may I borrow your slingshot for a bit? Just like that? No, I need it. But maybe you have something exciting to trade for it. I have some magnificent aromatic cheese. How about that? That stinky cheese! Blech! Disgusting! Not on your life! I have a somewhat corpulent mouse that's had a near-death experience. How about it? You don't really want to give the mouse away, do you? A mouse? Hmm. It doesn't really look like it wants to leave you. 
Here, I have an original honey bread firefly lamp. And it's even as good as new. Hmm. Good idea. Yes, I'll take it. Here's my slingshot. Oh, Joffrey forgot one. I'm sure he'll be back soon. <laughs>